Yeah, this is a decent something. Oh, damn, boy, what the heck? That was unexpected. Big enough? I think I'd be what 11. Oh, yeah, he's like 13. That's a big old pork fish. <laughs> That's a big old pork fish right there. Wow. What a jumbo. Are these any good eating? I don't know. Oh, you can't? Never mind. There you go. That's a big one. This is a ladyfish. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, it might be a big uh, Crevel. It's really not shaking his head. He's 30, he's 33. What do they gotta be, 34? 28 to 32. 28 to 32? It's 32 to the fork or to the end? Overall yeah, he's over slot. Holy cow, you guys see this freaking fish?
Let's get nice and close here. That's uh, it's a 33 incher right there, over slot. I'm gonna let her go. What a fish. What a fish. You could just, yeah. Just... You wanna make sure you hold them under their stomach so you're not hurting their back. Go. Nice. Before you put it out, Frank, let me remove. Just get us right over it. Um, I don't think we're gonna make this one good. <laughs> this is a this is a losing battle. That's it for today, guys. Did pretty good. Didn't catch a bunch of fish, but the quality was definitely there. Got that real nice snook. That was great. Over slot, measured like 33 inches, 34 inches, something like that. Which, you know, on one hand, it's a bummer because it's always nice to keep quality fish to eat. But, you know, on the other hand, uh, it was good to release a breeder. Um, you know, this way they can get back to doing their thing and, you know, 
restore the estuary so that we can have plenty of other snook that size to catch. So uh, yeah, you know, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Uh, if you guys have ideas for, you know, maybe something that you want to see next, let, you know, leave a comment down below. And uh, until next time, take it easy.